Hey guys and welcome! Today we finally got some more official details about Season 1 of Battlefield 2042, alongside news to the classic maps and a leak about the first gameplay material of the new content. But let's start with the new maps, cause at my last few videos a lot of you asked me if DICE will still add the old maps to All Out War and when this will happen. And the only thing I could say was I don't know, cause we haven't had any news about this. But this has changed today with a Twitter post of the official Battlefield account, confirming that some of the classic maps that are only available in Portal at the moment will be added to All Out War. And this will not only happen soon, but tomorrow already. So we will not only get some new weekly missions and new portal modes, but also a completely new All Out War playlist tomorrow. This one will be called Exodus Conquest and will include all 2042 maps, but also 4 maps of Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3. The mode will only be played with 64 players and is basically an enhanced version of Flashback Conquest that is available in Portal. Note that on PC, PS5 and Xbox Series, Exodus Conquest will replace the normal 64 player Conquest, while for all players on Xbox One and PS4, the Exodus playlist will come in addition to the normal Conquest playlist. Not sure why, cause then they will have two 64 player Conquest modes that are pretty similar, but that's what it is. In addition to this, we also got a lot more in-depth info about the progression system, the battle pass and the in-game currency that will be added to the game with Season 1. First of all, and that's also one of the first sentences in the post, there will never be any weapons, specialists, gadgets and so on available for purchase with real money. So players won't have any unfair gameplay advantage or better known as pay to win. All content that is necessary for the game, like maps, weapons and so on, will always be available for free for all players. Plus, all weapon and attachment unlocks will only be made by playing the game. The post also mentions special events to earn more XP, but there are no details about this yet. The battle pass we will get is divided into free and premium tiers, like I already mentioned in a former video, and the free tiers can be claimed by all players and the premium tiers only by the ones who bought the battle pass or have it included in their gold or ultimate editions. The battle pass will also include the new weapons, gadgets and vehicles of the season, but these will always be at free tiers to be available for everyone, so basically the same system that Call of Duty has. If you should miss one of the seasons, you will still be able to get access to the new content at a later time. To unlock tiers in the battle pass, you need to earn battle pass points, which can be claimed by playing any game mode in Battlefield 2042 and earning XP, or by completing weekly missions. These missions can be compared to the weekly missions we have at the moment, but it will be more of them and not just three. You will also be able to buy tiers with Battlefield currency that you can buy with real money. But this Battlefield currency, or short BFC, will also be part of the Battle Pass itself and can be earned through it. Similar to the cosmetic content, there will also be some free tiers that will reward you with BFC and also premium tiers. So basically the same way it is in each and every other game that has a battle pass or season pass. Same for the in-game currency. Once you bought it or unlocked a bit of it with the pass, you can use it to buy cosmetic items in the shop that will also be added to the game with season 1. This shop will contain different cosmetic items like weapon or soldier skins, but no gameplay items. The shop will be updated regularly with new content and offers and will have single skins and also skin bundles for a discount. And last but not least, a short info to the first gameplay of Season 1. The leaker Tom Henderson wrote in an article that we can expect the official reveal of Season 1 next week, since some of his sources told him that content creators will be uploading their first impressions of the season by June 8th. So I think we will see some videos with more details on the season on this day, and then on Sunday we might get the official trailer to it during the Xbox showcase. But that's just me guessing here. And in case you are wondering if I will be showing any official Season 1 content next week, well, no. I haven't played any of the Season 1 content yet and also haven't been invited to any showcase or hands-on or anything, so I know as much as everyone else outside of the Creator Network. But June 8th seems to be the date where we will get a first look at Season 1. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.